क्वेश्चन सेवन से इज ड्रॉ द ग्राफ्स ऑफ द इक्वेशन एक्स माइनस वाई प्लस वन इक्वल टू जीरो एंड थ्री एक्स प्लस टू वाई माइनस ट्वेल्व इक्वल टू जीरो डिटर्मिन द कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ द वर्टिस ऑफ द ट्राइंगल फॉर्म बाय दीज लाइन्स एंड द एक्स एक्सेज एंड शेड द ट्राइंगुलर रीजन सो लेट्स ड्रॉ द ग्राफ ऑफ दीज टू इक्वेशन्स so here is an axis on which we'll draw the graph so the first equation is x minus y plus 1 equal to 0 now let's find any two solutions of this equation and let's find them in a way so that they are easy to plot so we'll find the solutions such that both x and y are integers so here is an xy table and I'll give two values to x and find the corresponding values for y. So if I take x equal to zero, then y is equal to one, and then let's take x equal to three, which will give y equal to four. So two solutions of the first equation are zero comma one and three comma four, and these two solutions lie here. So zero comma one lies here. And three comma four lies on this point. And now I can draw the line through these two points like this. And this line is the solution line corresponding to the first equation. Now let's do the same thing for the second equation. So the second equation is three x plus two y minus Twelve equal to zero. So once again, let's create an x y table. Give two values to x, two integer values to x, such that the values of y also come out to be integers. So if I take x equal to zero, then y will be equal to six. And if I take y equal to zero, then x will be equal to four. so i can see that if i give y equal if i take y equal to 0 i can uh, the value of x will be an integer equal to 4 so 0 comma 6 and 4 comma 0 are two solutions of the second equation so 0 comma 6 is this point here and 4 comma 0 is this point here and now i need to draw the line through these two points so this line will be drawn like this and this line is the solution line of the second equation so we see that these two lines intersect at this point which is 3 uh, 2 comma 3 x coordinate of 2 y coordinate of 3 so this is the point at which the two lines intersect also the first line intersects the x axis here at this point which is minus 1 comma 0 and the second line intersects the x axis at this point which is 4 comma 0 so the two lines and the x axis form this triangle that you see so this triangle joining 2 comma 3 to minus 1 comma 0 minus 1 comma 0 to 4 comma 0 and 4 comma 0 to 2 comma 3 so this triangle is formed and now to find the area of this triangle so actually we don't have to find the area we we just had to find the um the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle so the base of the triangle is 5 units long if i take this side to be the base and the corresponding height is 3 units long so this is the required triangle and the triangle triangular region that was asked to be shaded was actually this whole triangular region that falls within the triangle formed by the three vertices so with that question 7 is completed to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers